Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Earlier today, Microsoft released their latest operating system, which is Windows 10. And I just want to demonstrate how I upgraded my Windows 10. I actually haven't completed the process. What I've done so far, I just downloaded it. But I'll show it from the beginning. This computer right now I'm using is running Windows 7. Little properties. So this is a Windows 7 Professional Edition, and I already have Service Pack 1 installed. For your computer, the upgrade is free if it's Windows 7 or Windows 8 but you need to have a patch ready to at least service pack one. And also, I don't believe the upgrade is free for the enterprise edition of the op operating systems, just like the professional or the basic. So on the Microsoft website, I'm just gonna click on this Windows 10, essentially get it for free. And here, it'll go through the steps. Now, one of the first things to say is just look for this icon. So on the lower right of my taskbar over here. I do have this as get Windows 10. I'm going to click, I just clicked on it. And what I did is I've already entered my email information. So there were, there used to be a box over here. that says enter email and get placed on a waiting list. And I don't really want to just wait for it. I want it right now. So I'm going to just close this. And when I scroll a little further down on the same page on the Microsoft website, I saw this part over here where it just says I can essentially put it on a storage device and upgrade it myself onto multiple computers. So I'm going to click here. And it took me to this site. Uh, you can read about the system requirements on your for your machine, for your environment. And there's a two download links on the bottom. Download tool for 32-bit and one for 64-bit. My computer is 64-bit, so I clicked on this one. And it downloaded this ISO, which is just a, like a disk image. This ISO, the image is 4.08 gigabytes. So it can fit on DVD, it can fit on many flash drives. And once you have it, you can just insert it into your, the computer you wish to upgrade. In my case, I'm using a virtual machine. The virtual machine software is Parallels. So what I'm going to do on my machine is I'm going to click on Devices, and I'm just going to mount that image. So I'm just show how I mount it. So it's connect image. I'm going to choose the ISO file and click open. And I'm going to run it just as if it's an actual DVD. All right, so it's going to need to get some updates before I can continue. So I'm going to hit yes, next. As a precaution, I will recommend backing up your documents, your PDFs, your pictures, videos, your serial keys, just put them on a flash drive or a DVD just in case the upgrade process does not go smoothly and everything gets wiped out. It's rare, but it's possible that something could go wrong and just don't want you to lose everything. And during the process of downloading and stuff, I'll just skip that in this video just to speed it along. All right, subject to terms, yes, I accept. Now let's get into the updates. And we're back. So there was about like three, four reboots and it took about 21, 22 minutes or so. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna click next. Uh, settings, I'm gonna say, sure. Use express settings. Let's see, these apps don't just come with Windows 10, they're built in better. Oh, just so you know, I did not check out Windows 10 preview when it first came out. This is actually my first experience with Windows 10. So I just click on next before, it's just to 
to proceed. I want to see what's going to happen. We're setting things up for you. It won't take long. Oh, I've already been waiting 23 minutes now. Boot again. I'm not sure. Uh, sure. Let's go restart anyway. All right. Looks like it's booted up. The layout is clean. Small icons on the bottom for taskbar. I'll bring up Task Manager to see what processes are running. Okay, so now it's not using that much resources. I'll just minimize this. Now let's click on this home button here. Yeah, I'm not sure what this, I guess this home button just brings it out. Let's launch the new IE, Microsoft Edge, they call it now. Hmm, okay. Let's see what these other the task view. Let's see what that does. All right, just bring up see a, a search icon, I guess. And how do I view my programs? Oh, there's Cortana here. I'll check this check this out later. Okay, so in all purposes, the process has completed, and it took about twenty five minutes or so from start to finish. And the computer I'm using, let's see if I can find my computer again. Bring up my drives. Let's see, this PC. No properties here. Okay, so now is Windows 10 Professional. It rebooted roughly four or five times. And yeah, I must say, overall, the installation process was pretty quick. Thanks for watching this video on how to upgrade the computer's operating system from Windows 7 to Windows 10. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching, Hamster. Bye.